Hey guys, it's Artie of Artie's Corporate Fiction with a never before seen hearing of a student of Alphonse Fagiolo. If you don't know who that is, he's a Savsik guru who doesn't like to be associated with other Savsik gurus. But at the end of the day, he still preaches the same jurisdictional arguments we all know and love to laugh at. So let's take a look at one of his marks and how he does at his own hearing. Are you here Last one. Yep. For an initial appearance? Oh, okay. It's first appearance. First, first appearance. Okay. Yep. Hold that one second. Um, and you, Mr. Is it writing? Writing her? Writing her. Writing her. Think writing her without the H. Okay. A little bit sus there. Right. Um, so your, the allegation that you're here for tonight is um, sort of the conduct? And so to that charge, how do you plead, sir? So I, Ryan James Reidinger, am before this court by special appearance only to challenge jurisdiction as I see no evidence that this court has either the needed personal jurisdiction or subject matter jurisdiction. Without wa waiving any rights, remedies, or defenses ever, I am only appearing before this court because of force, threat, and duress. I am not waiving defects of service, nor am I submitting to the jurisdiction of the court or the police officers in this color of law action. So as you guys can see, he's got the script right there at the bottom left with, I assume, is the copy of the summons on his bottom right. And he goes straight for the jugular of the standard jurisdictional arguments. And we all know where this is going to head, but let's take a look. Was also never given sufficient service of process by a qualified service processor. Uh... And who on the other side is claiming they have standing in this matter to grant the court subject matter jurisdiction to hear the case? Because right. there's not a verified complaint. Okay. So, there's nobody withstanding. Um, so at this point, sir, at the initial appearance, all I do is take um, an entry of a plea. And it, it sounds like, based on what you're saying, you essentially read an answer to the, to the charge. Um, no, that wasn't an answer. That was just my introduction. So... All we asked for was your name, sir, and you just gave up your entire argument for your case. So I, we, I declined to. Stop you, sir. So the, I don't get into the facts and details of the, the your claiming service and all of those issues. Is not what I do at the initial appearance. So the initial appearance is simply to enter plea of no contest. Why would I? Or not guilty. Why would I plead so, when I've seen zero evidence, no verified complaint? So Why would I plead to that? I'm not so going to plead to that. So, so I hold on. I'm not done. No, I decline to plea. I <laughs> decline to plea as there. So he's already uh, trying to fight back against the judge. I kind of wish the judge would be a little bit more forceful, but you know, it may be your first time uh, dealing with this kind of an individual. Um, yeah, I kind of wish it was uh, she was a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more. Um, strength in the decorum in the, in the courtroom there is no adversary as the alleged plaintiff is a fictitious litigant and they as typical with these guys uh, the state whatever he's in or the municipality whatever he's in is a fictitious entity therefore get, there cannot be standing we all know this is bunk um municipalities states counties etc they are all political bodies that do have standing to enforce their own laws um that are duly uh passed by the respective uh, legislatures and assemblies and city councils etc so it would they have of course, so this idea that they don't have standing to enforce their own laws is kind of ridiculous but what can you do there exists no probable cause cause stated by a man or woman nor is there a verified claim before the court from a man or woman claiming harm and damage due to the causation of anything i allegedly did or did not do so there exists no litigant nor cause. Uh, real briefly, depending on the state, the citation that he gets for disorderly conduct, that's usually a citable offense. The citation would serve as the complaint. Um, that's usually how it works in most states. Cause of action before this court to plead to. So I don't have to, there's no, there's nothing to plead to. There's no verified complaint. There's nobody withstanding that took an injury, nothing. So you're asking me to plead to something that there's no evidence of anything even on the record for. Okay, so sir, I, I'll ask you one more time. You don't have jurisdiction to so hear this case. What I will do 
is since you're refusing to enter a plea. No, I didn't refuse to enter a plea. I, I thought you said you didn't want to enter a plea. Decline to plea as there is. So that's your. So that's the equivalent of refusing. You're refusing to enter a plea. No adversary. You. Right. He, he's a prosecutor, but he has no personal knowledge of anything that happened that day. He doesn't need to. The city to. of Wauwatosa is a fictitious it, plaintiff. That's not Thank you. This is a court of law. I you're understand that. that. And you're violating my due process right now. You are oh, I stand corrected. All right. I like it. He, he's getting command here. I appreciate that. Me. I'm not you disrespecting not you. To me and you are cutting me off. I will enter a plea of not guilty. Are will you my attorney? Are no. you my attorney? No. I believe that your actions show contempt. For How support. are you my attorney? Oh. Yes or no? Before I make that determination, are you my I attorney? Want you, to have you can't plead for me. An opportunity to explain yourself. I just did. Oh, I she, declined. Wait, she hold it. Oh, wait, she just straight up held him in contempt. Oh, I appreciate that. Awesome. I I take back everything I just said earlier about this judge. I like it. The plea is there is no adversary. Is a basis of contempt. By what? Comments that you're making is a basis for contempt. What, defending myself and telling you that what you're doing is violating my right to due process? That's contempt? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and enter a finding of, uh, excuse me, not a finding, that is a misstatement. Enter a not guilty. Thank you. 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 Thank doesn't need to be your attorney to enter a plea for you in every single court uh if a defendant cannot or refuses to make a plea the judge shall make a finding of not guilty on their behalf moving on i i'm not refusing to i'm declining to as there's no adversary there's there's no causation of anything i allegedly did or not did not do are you my attorney can you answer my question <laughs> oh, oh, so she didn't really uh she didn't really uh punish him for content but you know what i appreciate her you know laying down the law and not giving him uh any any more leeway so i do appreciate that it's a very short one guys uh i appreciate though regardless of it and uh yeah uh i hope you liked it i hope i enjoyed it i can't wait to see what happens as we go along with this individual uh alphonse doesn't know that i'm back in his uh, telegram group again so thanks guys take care and have a good one see you next time and hit that like button before you leave see ya